been searching down every dead end road. The only treasure it's from me ain't nothing but fool's gold. I'm going to do my best to straighten out this spring to see if I can make some round stock to use to make tongs. I really, I don't really have any round stock laying around. The closest I have is rebar, and the rebar I have is a little bit thicker than I want two pieces in my hand at once. So uh, I think this is about the right size. The question is, how do you uncoil it? Well, piece number one uh, is done for now. Way longer than I needed it to be. I wanted extra, but that might be too much. Time to get started on piece number two. Well, as awkward as it was showing you how I did number one, uh, I think you get the point of what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna straighten out number two, and then I'll come back to you. Well, it's getting late for tonight, but uh, they're reasonably straight and about the same length. And so uh, I'll have to pick up with this uh, when I have more time. Now, and everything I researched after I um, straightened out that coil spring is that you really should start out with square stock. I don't have any square stock, so I'm gonna be using this round stock. Um, I did cut each of those pieces in half because uh, I felt like I could really get two sets of tongs out of this, but uh, I gotta figure out where to go from here. I'm gonna have to heat these things up and flatten them, shape them, and do something. Let's see. Okay. I got a plan. I'm only going to work with two to try to make a matched pair the same. And I'm going to draw the steel out a little more on the handheld side before I go working on uh, the actual um, gripping side. So we'll see how it goes. That sucker split when I was trying to upset it. It did! That sucker split. Huh. Maybe it was too cold. I don't know. This side didn't split when I was upsetting it. Wow. I almost want to try to forge weld that back together with some flux. What do you think, y'all? I think I can do it? I don't know. It's got oxidation in there now. I'm sure of it. It's just a handle. But uh, I kind of don't like that split being there. And if that runs its way right out back down to where I actually make the, uh, where I put the pin in, then that's going to be a problem.
This one is not looking so good. It's getting way too hot in my hand too. Man, I gotta get these drawn out. Ooh, it's hot in my hand. This is kind of futility here. I am shaping it a bit, but as I get closer to trying to draw the middle of it out where I need to get to, it's getting way too hot in my hand. Uh, I don't like that crack that happened. Uh, on the end of the one guy there, and I think that's because I tried to upset it without really annealing it well first. Although as I look at it, there's, that crack was up pretty far, and I don't know if maybe that was a, a defect in the spring to begin with. I, I really don't know. It may have just been me. But either way, uh, I'm going to go ahead and anneal these guys for a while. I heated those ends up almost halfway pretty good. Uh, I'm going to anneal them, let them cool, and come back to it another time. Well, it's been several weeks. Time to get back to this Tom project. This project on um, way too long. Uh, I'm gonna worry about the handles later. I'm gonna start focusing on the jaws. I'm looking to make this set a pair of knife tongs. So uh, you'll see. So I thought I had to reevaluate. thought I had them wrong because I was holding them like this. But no, I didn't make them wrong because they are going to be like this. So clamp, clamp, clamp. So no, I did them right. I just, the spot you got to flatten is a little different. That's all. Just got to flatten a different spot. Okay, so I brought up a pen that I've already started to peen on, and uh, that'll be for pinning them together. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do this hole. I definitely want to forge the hole. I don't want to drill it. Uh, I've never drifted a hole before. I've never punched a hole, at least not uh, in the blacksmithing field. So uh, I think I'm just going to try this uh, punch, and I'm going to uh, punch the hole through, and then I think I'm going to try to size the hole uh, with this other punch <laughs> and I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh, one thing I can see clearly right now and I don't know if you guys will be able to see this uh, here let me get you closer um, they're supposed to kind of be uh, the same because then when you when you flip them around they become mirror images of each other as they come together but the problem here is that uh, uh, these knife tongs, I, I want to be offset one way so that the knife blade, uh, as it comes through where it's being held, it can settle along the boss and you can get deeper into the blade wherever you want and need the stability. So that means one of these 
is going to have to look different than the other. One of them is going to have to be uh, at a different angle uh, where it comes off the boss. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I think I've got them about where I want them. Uh, some minor adjustments still needed. Uh, this one needs to be twisted over a little bit and then kicked that way. But uh, th that's essentially what I'm looking for. It's not want to punch through. Okay, so I've tweaked these a little bit, so they're going to come down about where I want them to. The, uh, I think now that the pin is in the hole, I'm just going to let it cool down, trim that pin off with my bandsaw. You could probably do it with an angle grinder uh, to about the right length that it needs to be to properly pin in. Okay, so uh, I shortened up the pin, and hopefully it's at about the right, the right. Uh, length now that when I peen it over everything should get held real tight. I'm going to go ahead and warm this up in the forge. Not super hot but warm enough uh, and then peen it over on this mild steel anvil and then I'm going to coat the whole thing with linwax. Uh, it should look pretty decent when I'm done. Might not be the best looking tongs ever but I think they're going to work real good. they are all finished up uh, I gotta admit they were so tight when I peened that that uh, they wouldn't move but uh, cooling them down and uh, applying a bunch of linwax on there and now uh, they move good but they're nice and tight which is something I was really wanting to be sure of on top of that hey 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 look at this they uh, grip a knife they're kind of just offset enough to grip the knife the way I wanted to they're about the right width already for the kind of, and that's on there good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that is going to work very well. Uh, they're not super attractive, uh, but these are my first set of tongs. And uh, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna like them. So some final thoughts on making my first set of tongs. Uh, I like the knife making style of tongs. I like the way these turned out. But in retrospect, I don't know as if I would make them again out of coil spring. That's, oh, that's a lot of extra work. Uh, and I suspect that just regular mild steel square stock would get you there a lot faster. <laughs> It'd be easier to work. And uh, the tongs would be uh, just as sturdy when it's all said and done. So that's my take on it. Uh, feel free to share what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And hit that notifications button if you want to see future videos from WJ Blades. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll check you guys later. Crying out to Jesus, I say, forgive my soul. He says, follow me, oh sinner, down the narrow road.